Red light means we're rolling. Welcome back to Pick Jimmy. You could call me DJ. And today we're doing a fun video, for me anyway. I love the underappreciated, really anything in life. Give me an underdog. Give me something that people aren't talking about that's just as good as the mainstream thing, whatever is getting the most marketing attention, right? So today, you saw the title, we're talking about, in my opinion, of the cigars I've smoked, the five most underrated Connecticut cigars. And while we do this video, we're smoking, honestly, right now, we're only here, an honorable mention to this list. This is the Frotello Oro. It was graciously sent to me by Fratello Cigars. Let's start the list. So these are cigars that, in my opinion, are fantastic Connecticut options that don't get nearly enough attention. The first one I want to talk about is, I believe, might be an exclusive to CI, which I know turns off some people, but it's the Rocky Patel Connecticut and not the one you're thinking of. And it is a very, very crisp Connecticut cigar. I am, I'm surprised by how much I like this cigar. This Connecticut is filled with loads of toasted cedar, creamy toasted cedar, a little sweet tobacco to it. It's not unnaturally sweet, but it's definitely a sweeter side of cigars. For example, you know, if we're talking about woods, a cedar is gonna be sweeter than an oak, and that's definitely what this has to it. But it's very crisp. It's very crisp, it's very light, it has a wide open draw. Very mild, very mild. It's a very nice, smooth, mild smoke. If you hate mild cigars, stay the hell away. But you already know that because if you hate mild cigars, you probably didn't click on this video. Okay, so dig that cigar, really dig that cigar. The second one I wanna talk about is a beauty from Alec Bradley. And I know, big box Alex Bradley makes so many cigars. They can't all get equal attention, but this one, it's damn near criminal. Okay, damn near criminal to ignore this cigar. It's the Alec Bradley Medalist. Taking a trip to the lighter side of Alec Bradley, this is the Medalist. This delightfully light cigar does not shy away from flavor as a stunning Honduran Puro blend. The Medalist pays homage to Alec Bradley's roots. It's a toasty yet creamy flavor profile that dips and moves through flavors of light cocoa, baking spices, leather, and sweet nuts, topped off by a creamy texture that lasts the whole cigar. Now I'd love to tell you more, so grab a drink and a smoke if you got one, and let's get right into the review. DJ from the future here, and if you like what you see, don't forget to hit the I'd like to see this shit show again in the future button down below and ring that bell, and you'll get notified whenever I upload a video. Yeah. Okay, and I couldn't do a list without including something that's a little more budget friendly because there are some great smokes that are under $5 and that's what I consider the sixth and down range to be budget cigars. Depending on where you live, obviously cigars might cost different amounts of money, but for me in Texas, six and under. So this one I'm gonna talk about right here. I smoked during the Texas freeze of 2021 in my backyard, damn near froze my boogin' fingers off doing it. And that is the Casa de Garcia. Connecticut cigar. Welcome back to the Pick Jimmy Cigar Review. You can call me DJ, and today we're taking a look at the Casa de Garcia by Monte Cristo. Let's go! This is this is more complex than the quorum shade. That's what I'll say for sure. For sure. This is much more complex of a smoke. The quorum shade is, is kind of one note. It's a good note, but it's one note. This has a lot more moving to it. So if you're like me and you like something that kind of, well, that's a fun effect, dances with you, this is good. It's not as sweet though. It's not as sweet. Yeah, like a little bit of a, sweet and savory thing going on. There's sweet vanilla to it, there's rich wood, there's some pepper, and there's kind of savory bread notes all kind of mixed together for a solid cigar. The fourth one I wanna talk about, it's a popular cigar, but it is definitely overshadowed by cigars that in my opinion have a similar flavor profile, but get way more attention. So, uh, whereas I would put on my top five list of Connecticut cigars, I put the My Father Connecticut, underrated, is the Agonorsa Leaf. 
Connecticut. The Aganorsa Leaf Connecticut is an amazing example of the new line of Connecticut cigars. In the past, Connecticut cigars have been very mild, very creamy, very, uh, let's be honest, quite a bit boring. This Connecticut booms forward with a sweet and creamy flavor profile, including hints of cedar and chocolate. Now I'd love to tell you more, so let's grab a drink and a smoke if you got one, and let's get right into the review. Okay, and last, but certainly, certainly not least, a cigar that comes from a company that is known for more of their powerful stuff, for more of their potent, double lajero, nonsensical, fantastic cigars. And that cigar, the fifth one here, is La Four Dominicanas. Suave. Also, it's pronounced suave. It's not suave. The La Flor Dominica Suave is a superior, supremely creamy, elegant combination of Dominican binder and filler tobaccos beneath a light and satisfying Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper. I don't know why the dumbass on screen said it's a Nicaraguan binder at one point during this video. He's very, very wrong. It's Dominican filler. It's Dominican binder and it's Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper. And quite honest, it is a delicious, fantastic Connecticut smoke. It's everything you want in an Ecuadorian Connecticut cigar and more. At a beautiful, fat, thick, juicy 6x60 ring gauge, this cigar costs around $10. It's a nice mild to medium smoke. Quite frankly, you're going to fucking love it. With hints of earth, cedar, black pepper, nuts, and all that jazz, I'd love to tell you more. So grab a drink, a smoke, all that crap that I forgot how to transition, and let's get right into the review. What do you get? You get a, a, a really nice, sweet Ecuadorian Connecticut um, wrapper, and then you get beautiful, light, creamy, very enjoyable Dominican Republic tobaccos. Mm. Retro brings out a little bit of black pepper, just a little bit, not much. Um, it also brings up a lot more of the cedar flavors. And it's not void of spice, don't get me wrong. This isn't a super light cigar. It's a nice light bodied cigar though. Maybe meat, light light to medium bodied cigar. Very smooth, very, very like gentle is what I would call it. With a little bit of spice. Um, this is gonna be stronger than a Macanudo Cafe. It's gonna be more akin to like a um, uh, Drew Estate Undercrown Shade, Brick House Double Connecticut. This actually has a bit more body and pepper than a, than a brick house double connecticut very good cigar just fantastic absolutely fantastic i love that cigar i saw it at a ci i was walking around and i was i was doing my like what is it five you, you five the six ones free some bullshit whatever that is uh back when i was still smoking at, at ci picking out cigars i haven't really shopped at ci in a good long time but i was walking around and I was checking out the Double O'Haros. I reviewed the Maduro on this channel. And I was going to grab the Sumatra. And I was looking and I'm like, what? What is that? What is that Connecticut wrapper mixed in with all of the LDF? With all the LFD cigars? And I picked it up and I was like, what is the Suave? And I, I YouTube searched it and I saw almost nothing. I was like, I think I saw two reviews. And I'm like, oh. Okay, and it was it was it was I, I believe it was under ten dollars when I picked it up. I can't remember for sure because it was about a year ago. And what a fantastic Connecticut cigar that was. But those are five, in my opinion, five Connecticut cigars that are underrated. There's so many good cigars out there that don't have the marketing power that people like Drew Estate have. That um, they they are absolutely worth checking out. So if you like this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTuber things. I greatly appreciate you for being here. And as always, you can call me DJ. Thanks for watching, PJ, and I will see you in the next video.